Hello. Uh, my lips have been so dry as the weather is getting colder, so putting on some of this. Um, okay. So this is day 302. Oh my god. 302, that means I have 63 days left. Only 63. Like, how crazy is that? It's still crazy. Anyways, what I do want to talk about today. I actually want to talk about the divine feminine and masculine energies. The, the being and the doing. I want to talk about this because this is something that... You know, it's it's just like it, it's important to just be more and more aware of it, especially like, you know, for ourselves. And so what do I mean by like the being versus the doing? So for the longest time, we were in our masculine. We were in our masculine. We, you know, we always took action. Everything we needed to do required action. We took action and we just did it. Um, didn't think of like anything such as like surrendering or trusting or any of those kind of things. It was just like, you want this goal? Here are the 10 steps that you need to accomplish. Like, do you like to do to get to this goal? And then you just go to them. You treadle on. You're like, okay, step one check step two check 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 oh okay i accomplished my goal yay and also like for example you're just like i want to run a marathon so i'm going to start by the first week's run one kilometer and then the second week run two kilometers maybe add some intervals and then you just go on on this checklist um your trip like do you want to plan a trip you want to go on a three month like excursion all over the world you're like okay cool like what what do I need to get done? Okay, so I need to like save this amount of money. So I'm going to start putting this amount in a savings account. And then I'm going to start looking for like buses and the transportation and, you know, hostels or like hotels or Airbnbs. And, you know, I'm just going to do do that and then I organize it, plan it and done. Looking for a job. Okay, so I'm going to apply. I'm going to go on Indeed. LinkedIn, apply to all the things, update my LinkedIn profile. I'm going to go networking events. I'm going to go like reach out to recruiters on LinkedIn. I'm going to do, 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 do. But now we're coming to a place where we're realizing that just doing, we're ignoring, like we're ignoring the feminine. We're ignoring the being. We're ignoring that other half of us and it's surfacing up it's surfacing up and the wounds are coming up for us to heal. The triggers are coming up for us to heal. The things that we force fall apart, don't work. And so how do we navigate both? Because I do feel that there's sometimes like a lot of us who, you know, we're in this masculine energy of always doing. And then we find out about the feminine. We're like, oh my God, we need to tap into that. And then we go to the other extreme of the pendulum and we're just like, okay, we're just going to be trust the universe i'm just gonna be and chill and i'm just being i'm i'm chilling i'm trusting the universe i'm trusting 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 i'm trusting i'm not doing anything it's all gonna come to me i'm manifesting i'm not taking action and then meanwhile our masculine's like where did you go where did you go i i am still here so it's all about balance. It's all about navigating the two. And so what does that really look like? It looks like, like, imagine you're like juggling balls. Okay. So each ball you're juggling is an aspect of your life. So you take one action. So the ball goes from this hand to that hand. So that's an action. But in the air before it lands on this hand, that is your being. That is the moment where you are surrendering. That is the moment where you're trusting the universe that it's going to fall in this hand. However it falls, however it looks like, it's going to make it over. But the thing is, we don't know the time frame because time doesn't exist. And so from like, like the ball going from here to there, it can be, this timeline could be a day. It could take a month. It could take six months. It could take a year, whatever. We don't know. And so, and this is where 
the challenge becomes like where our ego is just like Ugh, because we want to do something while that ball balls in the air our masculine is just like e we got to do something and because it's uncomfortable because we don't know where where the landing pad is we don't know what is happening we don't know what's going to come out of it and so we're just there like so you know for those of us who've done work on our feminine we're like okay we can trust it we got this we can trust it but then there's but but then each situation is different right and then then there's times where it's just like huh? and so we want to like catch that ball in the air and like force it to land on our hands because we're just like no we want it this way it has to be this way and so how many times have you forced something push to force a conversation, force a, an interaction, force messaging some someone, whether it's a recruiter, a partner, a friend, because you've been uncomfortable with that unknown and you've been uncomfortable with the fact that when the ball's in the air, you took the action, the ball's in the air and you're like, I need answers like now. And instead of trusting that it will land when it lands, you're like, nope, I'm going to take this action and because I need to know my answer. I need to know where I'm going. This idea of like not knowing where I'm going. <gasps> and so then you force it. And then what happens when you force it? What happens when you force posting on social media when it doesn't feel right? What happens when you force a conversation? What happens when you force reaching out to someone? It doesn't really go the way you want it to right or it doesn't fall the way you'd hope it fall it's just either you don't get the likes or the response or the comments that you hope for or you don't get the like you know the conversation doesn't go your way the 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 recruiter never emails you back you don't get the job or you get the job and it's shit so how do we navigate this? How do we navigate and we satisfy both parts of ourselves, right? We satisfy the divine masculine. We satisfy, satisfy the divine feminine. Why not to satisfy both? It's a balance. It's the yin and the yang. It's not more of one and more of the other. And so how do we satisfy this when, to calm our ego down so then our ego can be like, I got this. So... I'm going to share with you many, many ways that you can like navigate this one when you're in that unknown, when the ball is in the air and you're in that unknown, pay attention to your thoughts, pay attention to what's happening around your mind. Like, what are you telling yourself? Like, what's the narrative? What, what stories like when you don't know where you're going and you create an action, like let's say you're looking for a house and you apply for the mortgage and now you're just waiting for the bank to get back to you whether you approve it or like got the approval okay so what happens in that time frame in your head are you telling yourself well because of my credit card because of this because of that i have like a very shitty credit score i'm not gonna get it or you know like are you telling yourself like that you don't deserve it are you telling yourself like what is the story you're telling yourself and then from there, this is where you can get super curious about yourself and be like, well, how can I change this narrative? So another example, I, I'm going to go back to housing because like, I think like that is something a lot of us can relate to. If you are looking for an apartment to rent, um, and right now Canada is going through this housing crisis, um, it's a reality in some people's worlds that's, you know, and so if you're like, I'm looking for housing and you take the first action and you post on Facebook and you're like, hey, I'm so and so this is like who I am, what I do, like I'm looking for one bedroom, two bedroom, let me know if you have any leads, this is my budget, blah, blah. Okay, took your action, the ball's now in the air. What's happening in your mind while that ball's in the air? Are you telling yourself, oh, there's a housing crisis, I'm never going to find a home or I'm going to have to settle for something less than because the rental prices are so high um, and, you know, I'm going to just get a shitbox and, you know, I'm not going to get what I want. What story are you telling yourself? And then how can you shift it? How can you shift it so that your ego's behind it? Your ego can get behind that. And so some ways you can phrase it is like, well, what if I could believe that I can get what I want in the price that I desire? What if 
I could believe that the that something even better will come into my reality. What if that's something I can get behind and could believe it? And then another way to frame it is to frame the reality. So yes, there's a housing crisis, but there's not a lack of housing. There's an abundance of homes. There's a lot of homes that are built in this country, a lot. So that is just something your ego can get behind because it's just like, instead of tapping into the lack or the lack of, you're like this feeling like, Yes, there is. It's true. There is a lot of homes here, whether they're available or not. Regardless, you know, we don't look at that. We look at the fact that there's an abundance of homes. And so get yourself behind that. And so that's one way to, to tap into that. Another way is to pick up another ball. Pick up another ball in another area of your life and take an action. So Looking for housing? Okay, you post on Facebook. That ball's now in the air doing its own thing. Okay, so now we're going to pick up the next thing. Okay, so the next thing is I want to work on my social media. All right, so work on your social media. You, you take the photo you or you make the reel and then you post it on Instagram, TikTok, whatever. Pff, ball's up in the air now. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know what the engagement's going to be. We don't know if, you know, people are going to gravitate towards it. We have no idea. The ball's now in the air. And again, pay attention to your thoughts. Oh, it's not going to do well because I posted at this time. Or it's not going to do well because, you know, I just checked five minutes later and nobody liked it. Or it's not. What's happening here? Get curious. Now, so now you got two balls up in the air and you're like, cool. And you're going to take another ball. That other ball can be meditation. Okay, so you put on your headphones up and you sit down and you meditate. And now that ball is up in the air. You took your action. Next ball, movement. What do you love? How do you love to move? Love to run, yoga, snowboarding, surfing. What do you love to do? Going to the gym? Grab that ball. Make your way over to the gym. Boom. It's in the air. So now you got these balls like kind of hanging around in the air, kind of doing their own thing. And then next thing you know, while you're at the gym, while you're working out, Ooh, the housing just ball is coming towards your hand and you get a message. Bing! I have an opportunity for you. I heard you were looking for housing and I have this place. Do you want to come check it out? And you're like, oh my God. Yes, please. And so you respond. Boom. That ball goes right back up in the air. And then now we, again, surrender. We trust. And so that is the balance. The balance is, is that you're taking an action in one aspect of your life, you're trusting uh, that it's going to fall the way it falls. You're trusting it's going to do what it does. And instead of like really like narrowing and focusing your energy, like, you know, kind of tunnel vision towards this thing, because we do that, especially when it's something important. We're like, wait, wait, we have to have it. We have to have it. And you're just like, "Mm." And then meanwhile, you're trying to control it. Your fists are closed like this and you're not letting yourself open to receive. So this is where you trust. You open up your hands, let the ball be in the air, and then you take care of yourself in other avenues. Meditation, movement, uh, breath work. Go hang out with your friends. Do things that fill you up, but taking action on those and being mindful that you are taking action on those, this is where you are satisfying your divine masculine. And so, and you can also, it could also be simultaneously, like while one ball is in the air for housing and you're just like, yeah, I posted on Facebook and you're trusting that Facebook, everything's going to land how it lands. It doesn't hurt at the same time if you are in a conversation where someone's like, oh, I heard you're moving. And you're like, yes, please. Like, I am moving. You know, let me know if you hear anything. Boom, that's another action goes up in the air. As long as it's not forced and natural and intuitively aligned, that it's not like, you're not like fucking freaking out. It's what I'm trying to say. You're not freaking out. You're not trying to control a situation. You're not trying to force a situation. You're allowing it to flow the way it's meant to flow. And sometimes when that ball lands on our hand, it's like not what we expected, but it could be even something better. 
It could be something different and we're like, hmm, this is curious. It can even be something we don't even want. And that's okay. We can say no. And that's another action. And the ball goes up in the air. And then back to like juggling all aspects of life. So that is different ways to navigate the balance of the feminine and the masculine. It's like a little bit of action, but hold sitting back and trusting. If you're an entrepreneur and you use like, and you have launches, launch it, launch the thing. Cool. What are you saying after you launch it? What's your narrative? What's going on in your head? Are you saying nobody's going to sign up because nobody watched it because nobody's asking me about it? Nobody bought the thing. Nobody. It's been five minutes and nobody bought the thing. Well, I guess then nobody's going to buy it. And meanwhile, you created this entire narrative while the ball's in the air. We don't know what the outcome is, but you already created your own reality by saying that. And then you're just like, yeah, nobody. And then the ball lands and, you know, next thing you know, it's the day the program was supposed to start and nobody signed up. So switching the narrative, because then you can put in a different energetic field out into the world. And then the ball can land how it's meant to land. When it's in the air, it's just chilling. It's just doing its thing. But it's also aligning you with where you are at. Everything is a mirror. So you know, whatever you receive, it's a mirror of your energy. If you are in, like you're going to be an energetic match for what you receive. So if you receive something that you didn't want, or if you receive something that is, you know, not so great, then that's probably because a narrative in your head wasn't not so great. If you say you're going to fail and then the receiving is you failed, then boom. if you say it's not going to work, then boom, then that's what you receive. So while it's up in the air, this is really important to be mindful of your thoughts, mindful of what's happening in your head and all that, because this is where you are the creator and you have that power to create how that, like, not necessarily how, but like the energetic match of that ball landing back in your head. So if you want a mind fucking blowing, amazing life filled with like exciting adventures, you're creating that, you're putting that up there. And then boop, and then that's and falls. You don't know how it's going to look like. You don't know exactly what it's going to be, but you know that that's the inner intention you put up there. And then that's how it's going to fall in your hand. So a little bit of a ramble there. If you love this video, please like, share, comment. I appreciate it. I love when you guys comment. I love when you guys interact with my posts. It's so much fun for me. Um, and it allows me to like also engage with you and to get to know you a little bit more. So please, please, I love it. Um, and that's it for today. So I'm actually taking the rest of the day and not working today. I am not going to be creating or doing anything with my business today. That's the goal. Saturday, I have like, I think I'm going to read a book. I might go for a little beach walk later and just do that. And then ooh, tonight is like to be no sea of lights. So I'll be posting about that. Um, so you guys can see it. And that's it. Have a lovely Saturday. I will speak to you all tomorrow.